Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is the official Chris Perillo Home Office Tour 2012-2013 edition. It is December 31st, 2012. I do this for New Year's every year. It started a few years ago with the uh, subservient Chris. One of you guys made the request and have been asking for a home office tour every year ever since. Uh, I have my two primary desktop monitors connected to the Mac Pro behind the desk. You will see that in a bit. Each one measures 30 inches. Measures? Measures? maybe. An Apple wireless keyboard, one of my favorite keyboards of all time, a uh, magic mouse next to it with a uh, mouse pad. The reason why is because uh, this surface doesn't allow that mouse to track as well as it might. I may have to like mar it a bit, I mean the surface, to get it to track better. Over here underneath the iMac, which doesn't get much usage anymore, may actually pass to Diana at some point. I have a mouse pad sitting atop the base with a mighty mouse with a black case over it so it uh, blends nicely. And I'm going to pop over here for just a moment and kind of try to show you everything I have here, or at least most everything. There's my external FireWire 800 Blu-ray drive. It's connected to the Mac Pro. There is my AirPort, which is broadcasting uh, the primary wireless signal in the house. This uh, happened to be one of the better positions I could find for it. And yes, wireless signal strength here is amazing. Then I have an external hard drive there, likely one from Seagate. Over here I have an iPhone stand, a capacitive touch stylus, uh, not much else behind those monitors. Then of course we have the classic Tix clocks, which are out of sync, really out of sync. And I know I need to reset that at 1234 if I remember to do it. I don't really care much to reset the clocks. Up on top, I have some light wands, which fade in and out of various colors of the rainbow. Uh, one of the uh, speakers, specifically the central speaker for the surround sound system. And then I have a lamp, which has a controllable LED bulb inside of that as well. The red curtains, not really much behind here. There is the audio controller for the setup. And I don't, know if, I don't really dare to show you what's back there. I've got a stand upon which uh, a few things sit, like a, a router and the hub for my other internet connection, because I have two. One for my primary internet, and then the second one for the live feed at live.perillo.com. Uh, by the way, this... Uh, has uh, just a couple, uh, one input for optical uh, uh, in, uh, audio, uh, so I have it so that I, I can swap out optical audio from either my Mac Pro or the entertainment center across the room. This is my trash can, not really going to show you what's in there, uh, but this is where I keep it. Uh, behind me is a power strip of sorts. I don't know, I guess it's also a surge protector. I've got a flashlight, an amp, a guitar amp, in which I might uh, insert uh, my analog theremin or any kind of other audio out. Uh, there's my left speaker. Oh, yeah, I guess behind the monitor, camera, let's see here. There we go. There's the front left speaker. This would be the rear left speaker. Uh, my little printer, which I just did a review on, and it's uh, got a, a white flashing LED to tell me that there's something new to print out, probably the word of the day. This is my all-in-one office system, which really only serves at this point as a printer. Uh, since I use my iPhone as a primary scanner anymore, it's just far more convenient for me to do. This is AirPrint enabled as well as Google Print enabled. There is the gigantic subwoofer. Over here, and as we get into the darker areas, I can't find my LED bank. It's got to be around here somewhere, so I may actually illuminate this puck to show you if anything's kind of darkened, you know, like down there. Uh, I just have uh, a stand of sorts that I might pull up if I need to set something on top of it while I'm doing a, a video. My Tenorion, which still gets some usage, but now they have the Tenorion for iOS, so I don't use the hardware as much as I used to. Uh, then I've got another uh, brown case, which I'll pull out at times for my uh, videos. If I need to set something on top of it, you'll see it come in. Uh, my Gunner glasses, which I don't wear as often as I, you know, would like to. It's just, I, I always forget that I have them. Uh, this lamp is currently not plugged in, but I have plugged it in in the past when I'm looking for a different lighting environment in here. Uh, then we have my white gray shelf. And on the white shelf, primarily, or not just white, gray, silver, you know, that kind of stuff. So anything that's silver, gray, white usually goes here, including a Nasbatog, which has not seen much use either, but it's a fine little geeky collectible. Uh, I have uh, the, it's difficult to point at things when I'm illuminating it with one other hand. 
Uh, that's audio equipment, a Canopus, which is FireWire enabled. Uh, that is a classic iPhone stand, some LED coasters. Uh, I've got a Sphero, which is standing behind the very first Star Wars figure I ever purchased for 99 cents. He's been featured in the vlog. Uh, that is a Yeti, uh, a mic from uh, Blue, I do believe. Then this is where I usually keep my uh, Galaxy Note 2 and Galaxy S3 sitting on top of some postcards from Justin Hillgrove. There is a cube game that I got from ThinkGeek a few years back. A uh, clock, which probably needs its batteries changed behind it. A uh, magnetic uh, board, which ha is uh, supportive of uh, dry erase markers. I have the white Darth Vader from the alternate universe, a uh, glowing Rubik's Cube, an external media drive, and then just a, a glowing desk orb which isn't illuminated at this time. Actually, let me show you before I move on. Let me turn off that light and show you that these coasters glow. So when you set a glass of water or something on top of them, uh, then you can see through the glass and the, the glass glows or whatever liquid's in the glass glows. Kind of neat, huh? Uh, all right, so I am definitely going to need to use the light here. There's me, the action figure, Chris Perillo, which someone made a while back. Behind there, we are probably going to see a lot of dust. I believe that is an MP3 glasses. May also have a camera up front. Doesn't get much use. Uh, some old audio and video equipment. And in the back, I've got a neat desktop scanner, which I don't use that much. A Samson, you may remember that one. Well, actually, that was the CO1 with an XLR input, so I didn't use it all that much as I did the CO1U back in the day. You may have seen that in older videos. A Gorilla, uh, which allows me to, you know, that's a, basically a desktop uh, or, you know, anywhere uh, where I can uh, bend these uh, legs into different positions to mount uh, a camera or anything that accepts that kind of threading. The iRobot, I'm sorry, iSobot, not to be confused with the iRobot, I suppose. Uh, you may have seen these uh, items in recent vlogs uh, or from videos from a long time ago, including my Creative Vado, or one of the last ones that I have, a classic Ralph McQuarrie Vader that I received from one of you as a gift the other day from my wish list at go.tagjag.com slash wish list. Thank you so much. I want to buy a second one that I'll uh, unwrap and place with my other Vaders or amongst other Vaders. Oh, by the way, that is right there. It's just a fan that spins, you know, off of batteries. Uh, then I have that ROV. You see that? That Rove. It is a Bluetooth wireless scanner. So I can scan books in or UPC symbols quickly. Uh, in here, I've just got some desktop speakers, a universal translator, as well as underneath the universal translator is a Polaroid printer. Didn't use it all that much. I got it for a video review, bought it, and then just didn't use it. Uh, there is an audio recorder that's underneath this little pen-like creature thing. Uh, Diana, and the, oh, by the way, I just got a random die sitting there, even though I don't really roll any dice. Uh, 39 Forever. That was a gift from Diana for my 39th birthday this past year. Uh, this Lego Star Wars ornament was from my parents for this Christmas. Um, that Vader, a very nice Vader. And then I have uh, a black light as well as, God, I can't even remember what the hell this thing's called. It's a spinner that will display messages. And I've pulled it out in uh, videos at some points in the past. Uh, it's an LED. Uh, basically, the LEDs will flash. Let me go ahead and set the disc down. See if I, ah, as I drop the Vader, I'm going to see if I can turn this on. If I can't get this to work right now, I may pull it up tonight during the live stream that we do uh, New Year's Live, a subservient, Chris, where you guys can submit requests. I may need to replace the battery in this thing. I don't think I've ever replaced it. Anyway, uh, there's an LED blank that uh, bank that glows at the end, and as, as you spin it around, uh, what is it? A persistence of vision, like an optical illusion, creates words that you can read. It's kind of neat. And I've had it, like, forever. I think it cost me, like, 10 bucks or something like that. Okay, here, the top shelf, oh, Vaders. A lot of different Vaders in here. Uh, many of whom need dusted, some of whom are kind of falling over. I'm actually looking to get, for this shelf, like a, a plastic tiered system, so I can see all of them at a glance. There's there's one Vader with my head on top. That's a resin character, uh, or my head. Uh, that red Vader there, by the way, is a, like a holiday special edition. A very dusty Vader. Uh, these Vaders will get dusted if I uh, if I do get a shelf for this uh, so that I can see the ones uh, from behind, from across the room. A lot of different Vaders. It didn't, I don't know if you knew that there were this many Vaders. Uh, a lot of these Vaders, by the way, are gifts uh, from uh, many of subscribers who have sent them in through my Amazon.com wish list. Wow, so much dust. I had no idea it was this dusty. Wow. Okay, so that's that shelf. Now... As uh, we wait for the white balance to uh, correct itself, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in here. 
I don't know if I've done this for every home office tour, but I'm doing it now. Uh, I have some uh, paper, so that goes into the printer when I need it. Uh, just some uh, compressed air, but I have to be careful with the cans of compressed air because I also have uh, silicone spray lubricant if I need it, if I hear something squeaking. So it's basically like a WD-40. I have to be careful, though. You don't want to grab the wrong one. Uh, then I have paper towels, just in case there's an accident. Uh, some Febreze for my chair because it gets kind of stinky sometimes. You know, I'm not saying that I stink. Uh, some Zeiss uh, cleaning cloths, specifically for this camera lens. Uh, very little else. Um, some various cases that I've had over the years uh, will go there, as well as underneath. Uh, I have my ProScope behind the boxed wine, uh, which I keep here for emergency purposes. <laughs> I don't do it. Do I need emergency wine? I don't know. Uh, the this is uh, the part ProScope. Uh, the actual newer unit uh, for this, which I don't use all that often as much as I used to. A USB microscope was a lot of fun. I keep my uh, discs like CDs and DVDs with data on them in here, at least data that's been used. Uh, and this is an old Sony uh, DVD burner. So copying discs from disc, data from computers to disc, uh, you know, removable media to disc. Again, I don't really use those all that often, so uh, they do... They do come in handy, you know, when I do need to use them, Pixie. Oh, you know what I forgot, Pix? I forgot to show them what's up here. Actually, I don't think I ever put anything in here. Wow. <laughs> Except for a layer of dust, if you want to know. <gasps> That's it. That you know, Oh, wow. Wow. Should I write something? What should I write in the dust? And then I'll look at it. Ne we'll look at it next year. You let me know what to write in the dust. I've never put anything in there. And then the other day, during a Locker Gnome Daily Report, I actually left this open because I needed to pull out a disc for an Elton John joke. Uh, this is where I keep a lot of the discs that I want to burn, uh, or might need to burn. Most of them happen to be DVDs, so I'm, I'm well stocked there. All right, now, moving along. Oh, on the desk here, before I, I slide over to the other side of the room. Uh, we've only just begun. Uh, I've got my Retina Display MacBook Pro. This is my workhorse for video editing. I do 99% of video work on this machine. It's awesome. It's fast. It's spec to the nines. Uh, pretty much the fastest one that you could get at this point in time, and it's dedicated for video crunching and processing and uploading and everything. Uh, I connect my uh, FireWire camera directly by way of Thunderbolt, and this is the Ethernet connection. Even though wireless should work just fine here, uh, you know, I, I do prefer to go wired when I can. Then, of course, the power connector as protected and, uh, you know, concealed by these uh, cable I don't know, concealers. I, I'm just, I'm a fan of keeping things as clean as I possibly can, especially things that I need to see. Usually keep my iPad within arm's range here. And my, my current sponsor, Parallels, go.tagjag.com slash Parallels10 is how you can save $10 on uh, your copy of Parallels if you want to buy one. Now, if that link doesn't work for you, just let me know and I'll make sure I'll get you a, a link to where you can save money on Parallels. I'm good friends with them. Uh, and I, I asked him for this box recently because I wanted to show it in the, the videos that I do because sometimes it's easier to hold on to a prop rather than talking about uh, software in general and they happen to have those boxes. So uh, here I have at the end uh, an old little uh, uh, stand for pens and scissors and this is a mini projector, a uh, Pico projector. You can see it kind of shining there. I don't use it all that often though. I don't I don't have much call for projectors. Uh, the watch that I reviewed a while ago, you see me put on that wacky mustache. Uh, apparently this was picked up at Archie McPhee's, if you're wondering. This was a lot of fun, although I think I need a new one. This is kind of disgusting. Uh, it basically clips in between your nostrils there and, and then you can you know, look like you have a mustache. Uh, I also have a meteorite given to me by uh, Phil Plate, the bad astronomer. And uh, this is, I believe, an external microphone for the iPhone. They had built it at that time. And this was a speaker redirector for the iPhone again. But that was with the uh, classic 30-pin connector, the one that's no longer uh, really in production. Um, I, I got some, uh, at this time, I've got some extra lip balm there. Uh, here I have... Uh, a remote control, I have the lens cap for the camera, and I'll show that in a second, and then my reminder for Bull Market Toys, the people who sometimes will sponsor some of the Lego sets that I get because I'm a fanatic. That is the camera that I use primarily right here, the Canon HV40 connected by way of Firewire with a Rode Shotgun mic on top. Uh, I'll usually uh, set it, and as I'm doing a recording, I'll make sure I'll turn it around so I've got a good view. I know exactly what's going on uh, with me 
you know, talking over here. Uh, that's a wide angle lens uh, adapter. Um, the, the, recently, though, that mic or some kind of audio connection is buzzing. So I don't know if that mic is going bad. I may have to contact Rode to find out what's going on or, or possibly look into getting a different shotgun mic or a different mic setup here or audio setup. Uh, at some point, I may actually uh, do something uh, with the ceiling like boom mics. And I'll show you the way I have the lights set up. It's difficult to see right now, but uh, hopefully I won't forget uh, as we go around. They're actually in canisters uh, dropped down from the ceiling, and uh, so that way I can... There we go. I'm kind of covering up the light part. So I've got them all pointed at this direction uh, so that when I do this video, it's very well lit, the video from this direction in particular. This is pretty much always here, always plugged in. There is my rear left speaker. Uh, and then the rear right, or I'm sorry, re rear right speaker, rear front right speaker is behind the iMac. And I don't know if I, I don't think I showed you guys what was down here before last year. Uh, here I have just various and sundry tapes, extra business cards that I might get over uh, the course of a few months. And then I'll send all my business cards in to get scanned to shoeboxed, go.tagjag.com slash shoeboxed. If you want to get your receipts and documents and business cards scanned, I have a, a plastic opener. This one works really well. Office supplies, you know, box opener, stapler. Uh, I think this is also a, a this is a wireless, or I guess a, not just a wireless stapler, but it won't use any metal. It'll just crunch the pages, pages together without a staple. Another LED puck there. Uh, that should go over there. This is another external media reader. Uh, various uh, levels of, um, looks like SDXC, SD cards, SDHC, 8 gigger. Uh, some bad wireless batteries. My primary wireless batteries, some secondary wireless batteries that I'm now using, including double A's, triple A's, the envelope, antelopes, and the uh, Apple wireless... Uh, the Apple batteries, of course, they're all wireless, um, primarily power my wireless products, uh, but they're Antelope's uh, rebranded as Apple products. Underneath that, I have uh, another system of office supplies, including, I haven't seen this thing forever, uh, I've got it downstairs, I don't use it all that often, remember that... Uh, what was it? The Optimus Maximus keyboard. This is a replacement key and the key remover. Still have that Optimus Maximus keyboard to give away to one of the participants on LockerGnome.net. Although they, they haven't quite, no one's really hit the uh, the levels where we originally in, uh, you know stated it a while ago. Battery tester, which needs to have its battery replaced. A headlamp, an LED headlamp. Uh, various office stuff, including this was like a, a an LED scanner where you just wave the wand over the picture, or, and then it, it and then as you S swipe it around, the picture appears with persistence of vision, that uh, optical illusion again. Uh, an Energizer battery recharger. And then in this bottom drawer, it is a treasure trove of cables. It's also where I stick the IMAX wireless keyboard at this time. Uh, any kind of chargers I might need, uh, I usually stick them in here. Of course, after labeling them, I've got uh, measuring tape, which is battery powered. Fun. Geeky. Uh, my current labeler, although I am been thinking about uh, getting a new one of those. It's been a while uh, since I've uh, I picked up a new one. Underneath here, we have a, an old Apple wireless keyboard, uh, an older, another Mighty Mouse, and those two uh, input devices control the Mac Mini over there, which controls the live stream at live.perillo.com. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, this is the, my God worst possible remote control design ever for my Google TV. No surprise, horrible design, but it works and I'm able to get to just about every possible function known to man on this particular keyboard. Uh, behind it, I don't think there's much else. I used to keep an Xbox 360 controller, but move that down to another drawer. Uh, first drawer, I've got an Xbox 360 remote, my Pro Light remote control, which the Pro Light, which is a scrolling banner ticker thing, is up there. I haven't really found a permanent place for it. I wanted a, a way to kind of connect it to the internet and never really found a true way. But uh, other remote controls kind of come here to die, as well as USB keys like my USB tampon, which appeared in the second or third Perillo vlog, the USB humping dog. Uh, I also have my Lego USB uh, drive. You can remove his legs, and he's got eight gigs inside of him. That's awesome. Um, you know, anything that I, I might want quick access to, including... Wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. I do have a TiVo. 
<laughs> don't use it all that often. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I get most of my content online. Um, that's the primary drawer at this point. Secondary drawer is mostly USB cables uh, that I might use frequently, a micro USB, mini USB, uh, any kind of, uh, well, you can see classic Apple cables with a 30-pin connector. Don't have a lot of lightning cables at this point in time, though. Uh, a game controller, which does not see much play, sadly, anymore. Uh, and then the third drawer is largely uh, screen cleaners. I've got my Velcro, uh, which I use to wind up cables. Uh, you know, there's a towel, or this would be a microfiber cloth, towels and whatnot, uh, moistened towelettes. Uh, basically, this is my screen cleaning and organization drawer. Then I have a little stand upon which sits a netbook computer, which I never really used. I'd sell it if I knew I could get any money out of it. Um, <laughs> it's worth something. I just don't know what it's worth. Uh, paid 300 for it. It's probably barely worth $10. And I'm not going to sell it for $10. I'll just keep it for uh, nostalgia's sake. Scoot that back. Sometimes I will sit here and put my right foot up on that. Uh, I need my... Sorry, I'm just going to grab this LED puck. Because the other one I was going to use is over there. Uh, there is like a little container back there in which sits... Uh, cables, so they all get organized in there, kind of organized, organized-ish. <laughs> Alright, let me set this back in here, try to put things back in the same place. In these drawers sits uh, pens, like Sharpies and felt-tip pens and uh, paper clips, which I may use frequently. The garage door opener, if I find out that it's open, I can shut it from here. Uh, some quick access dental floss, as well as uh, more lip balm. In the second drawer, I've got old audio equipment, fun audio equipment, Korg's uh, K-Oscillator and the Chaos Pad, which now, they have the K-Oscillator for iOS, so, I mean, I use the hardware sometimes, but not as much as I use the app. Uh, various audio stuffs, like uh, earbuds, uh, you know, that I need quick access to, like, oh, I just need to listen to something right now. I, I never really need to, but this is usually where it lives. What's that? Oh, more audio stuff from another company. And then the third drawer, Pixie, you may have to move, baby, sorry. Uh, I have a bigger ear set, so, or headset, uh, if I am doing some kind of uh, video conferencing, I'll, I'll, I'll possibly put this in so that I can hear what's going on. And they have a dedicated mic, uh, Bluetooth, uh, over the ear, um, earbuds, headphones, whatever, uh, earphones, earbuds, whatever. I don't know what to call these damn things. I have too many of them. Uh, uses Bluetooth. Don't use it all that often because I hate audio equipment. If I can at all help it, I hate sticking anything in my ears. I also have uh, my uh, yellow legal pads, notebooks. I mean, actual physical notebooks that you write stuff down on. Uh, Kleenex is going here. I have uh, some beef jerky, just in case I get hungry, need something to eat. Uh, let's see here. Did I... I think I showed you everything else here, except for this is how I control the, the wireless equipment so I don't have to bend over. I just choo -choo -choo -choo, and then just stick it back up here on the Velcro, and it's good to go. Uh, under the, or I guess it would be the actual keyboard tray under the desk, uh, a wired Apple keyboard in case the, uh, the battery goes out and I need to do something. I also have a, a Magic trackpad uh, that I do use frequently enough, especially when the Magic Mouse goes out. Magic trackpad, magic touchpad, I never know what to say. All right, moving this way. Finally, my God. 20 minutes later, uh, we have one of my boogie boards, which I love. It's actually on top of a stand upon which can uh, sit or rest a uh, an iPad. So this is removable. So you can see there, as I kind of point down, something in rest there. I put my boogie board there. If you want to know what a boogie board is, just look it up in my channel. I've done a review on it before. I keep some other spare phones, especially the black ones back here, including my two Windows phone devices, one of which uh, the Windows Phone 8 I'm having problems with at this point, and I have no idea why, because I just opened it and it had problems. There's my Nexus 4 sitting inside a Geek stand. I'm trying to get the light just right. It says Geek. Isn't that nice? That was a gift from, I believe, Brian Miner. I have a grommet at the end that's a USB grommet uh, that, when connected, can power USB. Very barely power it, but it does power it. These two USB cables are active. One is a classic 30-pin dock connector, but I have a lightning adapter inside it because I, uh, I have primarily uh, iOS devices now that use the lightning connector. And then the micro USB cable, which is actually a converter from a mini USB cable, so I can charge things really easily without having cables flying all over the place. And speaking of cables all over the place, right next to Pixie, there is an extension cord which gets pulled out frequently when I need to charge something really quick and then it can get pushed back uh, to you know where it exists underneath the printer stand. Uh, then we have over here 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need to use the light for everything here. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Uh, my Locker Gnome pillow, created by Throwboy. These things still exist. If you want to order one, you can. Uh, just head over to throwboy.com, and, you know, you can reach out to them on Twitter. If you want a Locker Gnome pillow, you can buy one for yourself. Not that many of you did. <laughs> I'm not a big merchandiser. Uh, then down underneath uh, each one of these monitors uh, usually sits something. Uh, there is my Nexus 10, on top of which sits the Nexus 7. So those are my Nexus products under that monitor. Uh, a mouse, the keyboard, three of the same screens right here connected to a computer you will see in a moment. Uh, there is my current Windows 8 test machine, a Lenovo Yoga. That may very well change over time. It works well enough, and of course I unboxed it on the, uh, the YouTube feed live. Uh, over here sit my Kindle Fire HDs, the smaller one and the larger one. What is it? The 8.9 and the 9.8? What? What? 7.8, 7, point, the big one and the small one. I wish they did better at naming these damn things. Uh, then there is the Muppet Me, the Chris Perillo Muppet guy. I actually designed him on the website where you can create your own Muppets and made him look as much like me as possible. And that, of course, is the secondary desk, which doesn't get much use as, as much as I thought, but under which sits a, a nice little stand so if people come over, I can I can pull it out and they can sit on that, or if I need to set something on top of it, I can. I can pull it out. A chair that matches everything. Uh, then there is the PC of the home office, uh, which, again, is probably overkill for what I do with this particular system, but uh, this is an iFinity setup. Those three monitors are powered by this particular computer. Um, you know, I, I, I have the computer to use if I need to use it for any one thing. Then this is a uh, Canon T3i that I don't use all that often either. I got it because I wanted to do more video with it, but then I started to do more video with the camera I'm holding on to now. So I just didn't really use it that often. And I, honestly, the T3 guy kind of sucks at doing video uh, compared to the way I want to do video or was hoping to. Now, behind the Muppet, we have a handful of external uh, drives, hard drives, as well as another Yeti, which is a black version of the Yeti as opposed to the silver one you saw before. Uh, I've got a uh, subwoofer, which is meant to connect to an iMac. And then on the wall uh, is uh, Party Crasher, which is the first painting that I had purchased uh, from Justin Hillgrove, my uh, favorite artist of all time. Uh, and I'm trying to get it just right. I think that's about as good as I can get it. Uh, that is an original. And it's the first one that I saw at uh, a local Seattle uh, art show. And uh, I didn't get it at, at, the, at the time I saw it. I don't know if you can even name or see all the characters in it, but uh, I grew up with He-Man and, and G.I. Joe. And it just captured my imagination, and I loved it. And so I, I just... That's how I became a Justin Hillgrove fan, was because of this painting. And I was lucky enough that a year or so later, uh, the original was still available and I can get it. Uh, over there is another Justin Hillgrove, which doesn't uh, see much light in its current position because of the position of the, the lights that I have right now. Uh, but at some point in the future, I may actually redirect another light to this one. It's a Darth Vader Scarecrow. Very nice. Uh, down here, I have uh, different uh, mobile uh, stands or seats. And you can actually open an... Each one of them, there's nothing inside, um, that, at least that I know of, each one of them. Uh, there should be nothing inside, and they can be moved around if I have guests or I need to do some other kind of stand. Uh, there's stands on... If I need to put something on top of something else, I, I could use these. Uh, there is my coin op that doesn't have a coin slot, a classic arcade machine, and it stands uh, a little shorter than me, so maybe about five feet tall or so. And uh, it is a uh, basically a MAME machine, an arcade cabinet that came uh, fully configured. Of course, I, I made some modifications to it after I got it, but uh, works nicely when I want to play some classic arcade games, especially Millipede. For some reason, this became the ultimate Millipede machine for me. Still works, just don't have it plugged in at this point in time. Down below is uh, basically like a mat. Uh, these uh, characters actually illuminate from Space Invaders. I just don't have it turned on right now. Uh, it's a nice way to stand if I'm playing games for a long time so that my feet are well cushioned. I have a, a Darth Vader mask here, hanging off the side. I didn't really know where else to put it. There's Darth 40 hands. Uh, this was an original from David Huang. Down here is uh, my entrance stand. So I've got my Fantasine clock, which does need to be reset. Every time the power resets, it, 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 I have to reset the clock, so I just haven't done it that often. So it's really not 3 in the morning. 
my business card holder with my current range of business card, which need to be updated. It's where I usually stick my wallet uh, or, or where it should be. Uh, here I've got the cap for the camera that I'm holding on to, uh, and the secondary camera that's currently charging off the same cable. Uh, a X shot sits atop of that. Uh, this char this is a charging station, by the way. It's a separate charging station on top of this stand. Uh, and then I've got a couple of cables uh, strewn from behind it. Uh, inside here, I've got various things like, oh, apparently my... My Rebel T3i book. I don't know what's in there, but uh, I may have to move that. It doesn't belong there. It belongs in another drawer. I'm very organized that way. Uh, some arcade or Atari games that you can plug in by way of a video connector in there. And here I've got like a siren. doesn't emit a sound, but it, the, the LEDs spin around. Um, I got it for some reason. They make it for DJs, and I thought it was uh, fun. I've got some microphone equipment in this drawer. Uh, and or audio equipment, I should say, not just a uh, microphone equipment. In this bag sits the IFB that I used, this green bag there, the IFB that I used when I was on Tech TV, and I kept it, so I still have my original earpiece. Uh, there we go, and then underneath it, uh, not any, anything in that drawer. In this drawer, some other, there's my uh, theremin uh, towel, again, for emergency purposes, and then another glowing disc thing, which I may plug in again at some point in the future. There is a second stand, which is actually taller than the stand underneath that the desk there. They're kind of brothers or twins. Uh, well, not exact twins, because this one's taller. Upon which sits my iCade, and which can sit my iPad right there. And then the door, or doors, French doors, uh, that can lock right there. This one actually has the lock slot on it there. And then over here, we have a Job of the Hut, which I got last year on a discount with Ula and Salacious Crumb right there. Next to him is uh, another 30-pin connector. Uh, by the way, I, I, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I mean, i got tons of those cables. Uh, this is a classic iPad. He's sitting on top of an iPad keyboard, which I'm never going to use again because I don't have that connector. Uh, so if anybody's interested in buying that from me, let me know. I, I can sell tons of stuff that I don't use anymore. Uh, there is something that I kickstarted. I believe it's called the Una on a Kickstarter, of course, uh, Sensi, which doesn't have any scent in it, my eyebrow brush, which I use when I'm about to do video. Hey, how you doing? There's me in the puck, uh, the mirror here, so if I need to check anything in the mirror, I can. This camera, by the way, go.tagjag.com slash hdhat, pretty much what I use to record all the vlogs. The underneath here, that's a USB Atari joystick, behind which is like a stand for a smartphone. Like, it basically can help steady the smartphone. There's another boogie board in a CD organizer underneath, another caddy, and a glowing LED box of sorts. Uh, nothing in that case, or I guess container. Uh, there is a wireless keyboard, an empty case, locker gnome stickers and pens, emergency radio, Chris Perillo on a Lego. Someone made that for me. They milled it. Uh, stress release or stress reliever, a beanbag for smartphones, another glowing thing that glows, something that sits on top of a uh, an electrical outlet so you can set your smartphone on it as it charges. Uh, glasses case behind that, uh, the Chris Perillo Lego Home Office, which one of you guys designed and I purchased the pieces for and put it together. And there's me with Wicket and Pixie. We don't have a Diana minifig there yet. Uh, here I've got some uh, various and sundry iPhone case products. I want to lock to my home office. Not that I ever lock my home office. And then a random USB drive. Don't know why. Three Jones sodas from an early Gnome Dex or an earlier Gnome Dex, all unopened. Probably will be unopened forever. Uh, here I have a Luke Skywalker and a Darth Vader lightsaber, which you saw Soldier Knows Best use when he visited the home office a while ago. Uh, well, not too long ago. And I'm going to turn off the light for now. This Darth Vader uh, was uh, uh, part of my 39th birthday cake. That Vader was actually a modification from Justin Hillgrove. Uh, this Vader is a special one because if you press his panel, his saber glows. Neat, huh? Well, I think he's neat. Uh, and then, oh, behind here we have a, a, a Darth Lundberg. Give me a second. Let me stand him up. He must have fallen over. We have the laundry room on the other side of my home office, so sometimes it shakes the stands, uh, which is fun for the bobbleheads, like this. Crazy little bobblehead. It was a little dusty. Too much dust. Uh, Darth Lundberg. That awesome? That's a Justin Hillgrove uh, modification, too. These two guys are. Justin Hillgrove, again, the artist who did that, that, and a couple of other pieces you will see. Uh, a Build-A-Bear of Darth Vader. Right there, and a Steinbach nutcracker, which I'm a fan of. You guys saw this guy in the vlogs a few times. He talks. Yay, he doesn't really crack nuts. That's okay. He does what he needs to do. 
Moving around to the front, and before I forget, let me go ahead and pan around to light. That's how all the lights are. They're positioned down from these uh, recessed lighting positions, so I can direct them to where I need to have this area lit for a majority of the videos that we do. Just before I forgot. Up here, uh, more random Vaders. I collect a lot of Vader memorabilia, and pretty much that's it. Uh, and uh, some special stuff, not so special stuff, and oh, another Justin Hillgrove original. It's a robot invasion. The monster invasion is downstairs. Got a few DVDs as I illuminate this here with some uh, Darth Vader's standing in front, guarding the DVDs. Each one of these Vader's should be uh, of a different variety. I have a lot of them. I don't watch the DVDs all that often, so they may actually disappear at some point in the near future to the dead media closet in the basement. Uh, some more Vaders, including the Angry Birds Vader. Uh, gifts, again, from many people. A Transformers Vader. Uh, a Vader, which I believe made... I think he's a bank Vader. A uh, Vader still in the card. That's not an original Empire card, though. Um, it's not exactly a recard. They just re... Uh, Kenner, even though Kenner doesn't really exist anymore, now it's Hasbro. Uh, it looks like the way I used to buy Star Wars figures. I thought it was fun. A Darth Vader inside a case. There is the camera, the HV-30, Canon HV-30, that runs live.perlo.com. It's pretty much on 24-7. Had to go in for repairs early this year, by the way. It, it died. Uh, then I have a me, a mini me, that uh, a company made. I featured in a vlog. Some batteries for the camera and extra equipment. Uh, here sits uh, my G1 Lumix from Panasonic. Don't use it that much anymore. Another one of those things I could probably sell, but I'm not going to sell because I can't get any money for it, so I might as well just hold on to it if I'm not going to get any money for it. Uh, then I uh, have a stack of postcards that I need to go through yet. Some older PC games that I can't seem to get rid of. This is where I currently have a collection of Androids, which definitely needs to grow. A few extra Locker Gnome pins. There is a Darth Vader from Japan, given to me as a gift by Justin and Liana. You met them in the vlogs a while ago. There's a Locker Gnome color changing mug, which you can order at gear.perillo.com. Uh, these are some Xbox games that I have here, which again, may make their way elsewhere in the house. That's pretty much what I have here on this shelf. Doesn't really look all that exciting now that I think about it. Uh, here are all the stormtroopers that I have. I got 10 of them because I thought it'd be kind of fun to put in front of my Google TV. Uh, and uh, so they sit here in various poses and I can see when someone comes through and does something because they've gone into different poses, except for you're saying, well, Chris, there are 11 stormtroopers there. No, this is actually a white Boba Fett. This is what Boba Fett was supposed to look like in the beginning, and uh, this is a, a figure that you can get, and his guns are next to it. If, I don't know if you can see them there. There's a couple guns next to it. I probably have to put them in his hands, but I'll do that at some point in the near future. Uh, there is my current DVR for the room, the TiVo, the Xbox 360, upon which sits my iPad teleprompter. Xbox 360, I mean, I would not turn on the Xbox 360 with that teleprompter on it. Don't use the Xbox 360 as much as I would like to because I get most of my uh, information and content uh, either through the television service provider or specifically through my internet connection. In these drawers, let's see here, I'm trying to maneuver, I need another hand, uh, sit uh, various cables for computers here, like VGA cables, HDMI cables, usually monitor or television cables. Underneath that, uh, other assorted cables, usually classic cables like parallel cables and serial cables, which yes, I still have. Uh, some Xbox stuff and gaming stuff in this drawer. In this drawer, all AV cables that I have, like, you know, all those various connectors. I have so many cables, which is good because, you know, I could use them at times. Uh, there is currently my only rug for the home office, which may need to be replaced at some point. I had another rug there, but pu Pixie puked or pooped on it. One of the two. So I got rid of it. I'm like, well, I'm not going to clean it up because it's not worth it. So I may get another rug for that area of the office. In in the stand, which by the way is mobile, uh, currently sits a handful of Lego sets that I've yet to put together. <laughs> I've had them for a while. Uh, no, I'm not a hoarder. I just love minifigs. Come on, give me a break. Uh, some 8-bit pixel art uh, created by the Pixel Art Store. There's me in the background. You see me with the shirt there with Link in front and the Game Boy and then uh, Super Mario Brothers, Samus, and Kid Icarus, and the Fireball, and the Game Boy, and a couple of... Uh, uh, I don't really have a lot of games anymore. I, I tried to get rid of the ones that I didn't need, and uh, you know, may end up getting rid of uh, some of the other ones that you find as, as my life goes on. Uh, some more Darth Vader memorabilia, uh, including an original painting from one of you guys. You guys painted that and sent it to me. Uh, I also have a spare Canon uh, camera, just in case as a backup. Uh, other effects... 
including the Mac Mini, an older Mac Mini, which I may upgrade at some point in the future, uh, for that runs the stream at live.perillo.com pretty much on 24-7. It is a workhorse and an amazing one as well, or an amazing one as well. Sorry about that. Uh, a very dusty Vader. These, these are like random-sized Vaders, big, small, one that's fallen over that I need to pick up. Um, there's a, a watch Vader. His helmet's off there. It looks a little freaky, doesn't he? Uh, so small, large, odd-shaped Vaders will go here, uh, and you can see it needs to be uh, just a bit more organized. I probably should have done that before recording this video. Um, some CDs, which I have up here, some specialer, special er, more special CDs, I guess, um, including ones that I, I might want to listen to at any point, and some more Vader memorabilia, a Korg pad, it's like a MIDI controller, um, and then Vader, 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 Vader lunchbox behind which sits. Oh yeah, I don't think Diane has ever seen one of those orange things before. I'm gonna have to pull it out. She was asking about it the other day. There's an organizer which you may have seen in earlier home office tours as well. Like you can sit, stick like wallets and stuff in there. Uh, my wheelie cases. I primarily use the the top one when I'm traveling, and so they're on rollers. They accommodate computers. The bottom one, and I may swap out to this during CES. Actually has a battery pack in it which keeps things charged up as you go along, which is really nice. Gonna make this as quick as I possibly can because I know this is getting to be a very long home office tour. There's a Mac Pro real quick. Uh, if someone wants to volunteer to come over and reorganize the mess back here, be, you'd be more than welcome to do that. Uh, that's how everything looks behind the desk. Messy, 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 horrible, horrible, horrible. But um, the USB ports on the back of the Mac Pro are broken. I mean, they just it's a problem with that series of Mac Pros. And so I just am using the current, currently using the front ports. In here, a bunch of spare equipment. Uh, some hard drives that I'm not using anymore. They go in here. I've got an Xbox 360 Elite I'm still not using. My wireless Christmas lights are hanging from that. Uh, my old classic cards, poetry I wrote in college. When I say classic cards, by the way, uh, I mean like Garbage Pail Kids, non-sport cards. The uh, books that I wrote, the T uh, VHS tapes for computer basics. I have some old headshots of me, uh, which I don't really use anymore. I mean, sometimes someone might want an autograph. I know many people do. I just don't send a lot of autographs out. Uh, tools uh, and uh, cable organizers, uh, my Wacom tablets, uh, things that I've yet to unbox. Uh, there's my Locker Gnome caps, which aren't for sale anymore. These are about to be unboxed in the, the coming year. So they will be unboxed by the time you see this. Uh, other dead media, like floppy disks, uh, some classic Locker No mouse pads no longer available for purchase. A whole bunch of Apple stuff that's just in a shelf right now. My first digital picture frame underneath that uh, with looks like the a USB plasma globe and a chumby behind it. And then underneath it, a small fire extinguisher as well as the covers that I use for the vents. Uh, there's one vent there and the other vent there. Uh, during winter, if I want to keep the heat out, I'll put the vents up. Hasn't been too bad this year. And then various drawers. Old computer stuff, old computer hardware, including anti-static bags. In this drawer sits a bunch of my networking cables, uh, pretty much all networking cables in this drawer. Uh, all my USB cables, largely proprietary, sadly. Uh, in this drawer, batteries uh, and, and, and other tools that may not belong on the top shelf because they, they may slide through. Here, a bunch of cases. Uh, and uh, other, I guess, random equipment. Uh, in here, some other random equipment that I have and some classic cards, including, ooh, yeah, that this one is signed by Will Wheaton, and then there's another one I've got signed by Waz in here. Uh, yeah, so I've got Will Wheaton and Waz's autographs in here with other old uh, USB devices that I just can't seem to get rid of. I mean, I could get rid of them, I just won't. Old USB devices, which are worth nothing. Uh, some old CDs, which are old data CDs, which I'm never going to use again. Again, worth nothing. Office supplies, worth something. That's where I keep it. And down there, random instruction booklets and manuals. And with that, uh, since I have now gone through... Uh, I guess two different video clips because I hit the gigabyte limit. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Thanks again for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate your support throughout the year. Hopefully you liked this video and will continue to like all the videos we do for you throughout the year. And uh, I guess with that, we'll eat you later.